Depending on how your site has been configured, there are multiple enrollment options available within a course. The enrollment options available within Moodle include manual enrollment, self-enrollment, guest access, cohort sync, course metadata, and PayPal. To manage enrollment options at a site level, navigate to the Site Administration menu. Select Plugins. Select Enrollments. Select Manage Enroll Plugins. From the available course enrollment plugins, you can see Manual Enrollments, Guest Access, Self Enrollment, and Cohort Sync are currently enabled within the site. To remove this enrollment option, simply hide the option by selecting the eye icon. To allow other enrollment options such as PayPal, navigate to the appropriate plugin and enable the enrollment method. To allow manual enrollments, navigate to your course. From the course administration menu, select Users. Select Enrollment Methods. Make sure that the Manual Enrollments option is enabled. To start manually enrolling students, navigate back to the Course Administration menu. Select Enrolled Users. Select Enroll Users. Navigate to the student you wish to enroll and select Enroll. Select Finish Enrolling Users. The user is now enrolled in the course. From the Enroll Users menu, select Enrollment Options drop down menu. Using this option, you are able to set enrollment duration and start date as you're enrolling users. For example, if you would like to enroll a user for a particular duration, select the required duration from the Enrollment Duration drop-down menu. Select Enroll. Select Finish Enrolling Users. The learner is now enrolled in the course for the duration that you have selected. The duration is visible from the Group Enrollment Methods menu. Now let's look at the settings for configuring self-enrollment. Navigate back to your course. From the Course Administration menu, select Users. Select Enrollment Methods. From the Add Method drop-down menu, select Self-Enrollment. Self-Enrollment allows students to enrol themselves in a course, either immediately by clicking Enrol Me in this course, or by typing in an enrollment key which you have provided. In order for Self-Enrollment to work, the Manual Enrollment plugin must also be enabled in the same course. Provide an instance name. If you would like users to be provided with an enrollment key, which acts as a password to allow enrollment, enter in your enrollment key in the space provided. Select the default assigned role you wish learners who use this enrollment key to be added as. If you wish to set an enrollment duration, select Enable and enter in the required duration. If your enrollment has a duration and you wish to notify learners before the enrollment expires, select the appropriate option from the drop-down menu. If you have selected this option, choose a notification threshold. Enter the start and end dates of your course. 
modify the date and time of enrollment as required. If you wish to unenroll in active users, select the time duration from the drop down menu. If you wish your learners to receive a course welcome message, enter it into the custom welcome message. Once you are happy with the settings you have selected, select Add Method. The self-enrollment option is now available. Let's see what this looks like from a learner's perspective. I'll now switch to a learner in the system to see how the enrollment works. As you can see, I'm currently enrolled as a learner. Navigate to the course you wish to enroll in. Select the course. I'm now asked to provide an enrollment key in order to enroll in the training. Once you have entered the enrollment key, select Enroll Me. The learner is now enrolled within the course and will have automatically received your welcome message. I've now logged back in as an administrator and will demonstrate how to configure guest access. To use guest access, it must first be enabled at a site level. To make sure guest access is enabled, navigate to the site administration menu. Select plugins. Select enrollments. Select manage enroll plugins. We can see guest access is enabled. Navigating back to the site administration menu. Select guest access. If you would like to make any changes to the default guest access settings, you can do so here. Once you've made any changes, select save changes. Now let's take a look at what this looks like from a learner's perspective. I'll log out of the site. From our homepage, when login is selected, use Learners now have the option to log in as a guest. Select Log in as a guest. From the top right hand corner, we can see we are currently using guest access. When I look at the courses within the navigation menu, I receive a message that guests can currently not access this course and must log in. However, if I configure guest access for this course, Learners using guest access will be able to access the course. Let's log back in as an administrator. To allow guest access for this course, navigate to the course administration menu. From the users drop down menu, select enrollment methods. Unhide guest access. Guest access will now be enabled. Navigate back to your course. Let's now try and access this course as a guest. I've now logged out of the LMS and will navigate to the course. As a guest, I'm now able to access the course material. I've now logged back into the site as an administrator. Another enrollment option is the use of cohorts. Cohorts allow you to quickly and easily, either manually or automatically, enroll groups of learners. To use cohorts, it must first be enabled at the site level. To do this, navigate to the site administration menu. Select plugins. Select Enrollments. Select Manage Enrollment Plugins. Ensure that the Cohort Sync option is currently enabled. From the Site Administration menu, select Users.
Select Accounts. Select Cohorts. From here, you can manage your existing cohorts and create new cohorts. To add a new cohort, select Add New Cohort. Name your cohort. From the context drop down menu, select where you'd like your cohort to function within. If you would like your cohort to be used system wide, select System. If you would only like it to be available within the Human Resources category, select Human Resources. List a cohort ID. If you don't want your cohort to be visible, uncheck the box. List a description as required. Select Save Changes. Our cohort has now been created. Select Assign. Select the users you wish to add to your cohort. Pressing Shift allows you to select multiple users. Once you have your users selected, select Add. Your users are now within the cohort. Navigate to your course. From the course administration menu, select Users. Select Enrollment Methods. From the drop down menu, select Cohort Sync. Provide an instance name for this Cohort Sync. Select your cohort from the drop down menu. Assign the cohort's role within the course. Select Add Method. The cohort has now been enrolled in the course. Another great function within Moodle is the use of groups. Groups allow trainers to organise learners into groups within a course or within particular activities. This assists trainers to manage large volumes of learners. To assign to create a group at a course level, navigate to the course administration menu. From the Users drop down menu, select Groups. Select Create Group. Name your group. Provide a group description if required. If you'd like to assign an enrollment key to your group, you can do so here. Once you're happy with your settings, select Save Changes. To add users to your group, ensure your group is selected and select Add Remove Users. You can now select from the enrolled users within the course. Select Add. The learners have now been added to your group. Navigate back to the Groups option. When our group is selected, we can see the learners that are currently part of the group. You can now use groups to restrict access to particular activities, resources or course topics. And where you have several classes within a particular course, you can filter by groups when reviewing activities or assessment.